All right, now we're going to have a look at frontal projection. This is a pretty cool projection method that you can use in Cinema 4D. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop in a background object. Okay, and then I'm going to load a picture onto this background object. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So I've created my material here by double clicking. Double click the material. I'm going to go to the color channel. I'm going to load my material. Parking. Click yes. I'm going to uncheck specular. I'm going to drop this on the background object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text and make it look like it's sitting on the street. I'm sure you've seen this sort of thing in TV commercials before. So first, let me rename my material by double clicking here, renaming this BG for background. And then I'm going to control drag or command on a Mac to duplicate this. And I'm going to call this one rebuilt. Now I'm going to come up here and put a null in here. Call this rebuilt. And I'm going to drag this on the rebuilt null. And I'm going to change the projection method from UVW mapping to frontal. Now I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to get the text object. I'm going to type in 1.618. And I'm going to choose Rockwell. And I want to scale this down a bit and move it down back a little. Just try to situate it so that it kind of fits on the street nice. So you may have to move around a little bit, rotate, just trying to keep playing with it until it looks about like you want it. Just about there. I think that'll work. So now I'm going to come up and I'm going to grab my extrude nerves. I'm going to take the text, put it under the extrude nerves. So we get it to become 3D geometry. Maybe put some caps on it. Not that much. Like that. And take the movement out just a little bit further. Something like that. Just twist it up just a tad bit like that. I think that's going to work. So now I'm going to create another material. I'm double clicking. I'm going to go to the color channel. I'm pick a color. You can pick any color you want. Pick something like this. Give it a little reflection. About 12%. Just a tiny bit more, 15. I'm going to put that on the extrude nerves. That's on the text. Now I'm going to hit C on the keyboard, invert it, and open it completely up. Select all of these. Right click and connect objects and delete. So I have just the one text object now. I want to take the text object and scale it up like this. And let's move it around a little bit more. Like that. I'll kind of keep messing with it. Next, I want to come over here. I'm going to grab a plane. I'm going to take the plane, put it under the text, because I want this plane to be underneath the text, I'm going to make it a child of the text. Then I'm going to come to the coordinate tab and I'm going to zero out all of this information. Now, what I probably should have done first is, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to take the plane back out, take the text object, turn the plane off for a second. We can see right here that our axis is not in the center of the text. So I'm going to come over here to the axis tool. And I'm going to middle mouse click so I can get into a different view. And I'm going to pull the axis down and look in the different views to make sure that it's sort of centered into my object right around the D. I'll just go in here and I'm going to put it down at the bottom. So now we come back over here. Now we've got the axis of the text is right here at the bottom. So Take the plane, turn it back on, make it a child of the text, and then zero this out again. So now it sits under the text. Now I'll pull the plane out and make it bigger so that it covers all of the text underneath the text because I want shadowing under here. Now I'm going to take the plane and I'm going to put it under the rebuilt. Now remember, the rebuilt has this 
tag on it that has a frontal projection. I need to do one more thing. I need to come over here and put a compositing tag on this. And here's where the magic happens. Compositing background. You check this on. Now when we render, start getting something that's looking right. Let's go back over here. Take a look at our front view. Let me get the plane, sort of twist it so that it's fitting a little better underneath the text. I'm also going to come over here. I'm going to turn on our ambient occlusion. Turn this up to 256. Turn this up to 15%. Let's do another render. There we go. Starting to look right. Let's just play with this a little bit more. Let's take the text. Let me just move it a little bit and down a touch. That's starting to look right. So from here, I could come in and put in a sky object, and we could come over to our content browser, find our HDRI image. Put that on our sky object. And remember, the sky object, it's completely surrounding everything. So now I'm going to put a compositing tag on the sky object. Click on there and uncheck Scene by Camera. So now let's take a look and see what we have. There we go. So now you can see we've got our specular highlights and we've got our reflections. And the text looks sort of like it's sitting there on the street. Okay, so that's just some cool special effect type work that you can do with frontal projection here in Cinema 4D.